So today we are in Broad Alba, New York, and we're starting a brand new project. We actually were gonna start this a couple of days ago, but the excavator has been hauling tons of soil in. I think they brought like 30 triaxle loads of sand. Now they got this mounded up for us. It's in the middle of the woods. So basically what the owner did is had all the trees removed and the brush, had an excavator bring in like 30 loads of soil for us so we can start carving it out, start turning it into a koi pond and a waterfall. It's gonna be a lot of fun to work up here. It's super quiet. We're in the middle of the woods. You gotta love it. So I have Jason and Nick with me today. We did have to wake up Jason. He was sitting in the truck taking a nap. The window tasted good. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so I'm up here with Jason and Nick and basically what they're doing is uh, gonna set a benchmark for us because in a project like this, we wanna have a reference that we can always go back to. There's gonna be a lot of different elevations here. We got a lot of carving to do. We got some cool waterfalls we're gonna be able to build. I didn't. I thought you was that was that a question? That. I don't know. I think it's going to be awesome. They brought <laughs> in got a lot. Of, they, we got it. Seriously, we've got it. It's going to be a, beautiful because it's going to be so easy to dig because there's, they brought in, I don't know, about 30 loads of sand. <laughs> yeah, a lot. So. Uh, hey, Jason. You think you can get with the picture? We're in Broad Alton, New York. Yeah, we're and, in Broad Alton, New York. And we're working on a waterfall instead of just staring at me like you don't know what we're doing. Was, what are you doing there? Holding a stick? <laughs> you told me to wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get on with Are this Are you project. ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, never a dull moment here at Deckers. Hey, that reminds me of you, building the toys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jason and I just got done marking this out while Nick is down there already starting to pick out boulders. We're able to get all the rock from this property. You can see some of the kind over here that we're gonna be dealing with. Nick's way down over in there starting to stockpile it so we can bring them up here. So what we got marked out is, this is where we're thinking our patio is gonna be. Now this is all a concept until we start carving and setting boulders. And then the new addition now, this was gonna be a pondless, but this is gonna be a small koi pond in here. All these blue marks what we're thinking is is going to be pond waterfall and sitting area and then when you come up on top this is probably going to grow a little bit in elevation but we have a pooling area up there that we want to start because we don't want it to look forced we want to have an upflow and let it kind of crash down over and in there i can't wait to use some of these rocks look at the moss on them i just can't wait are you going to say anything you're just going to stand with your hands on your hips me no I, i'm excited it's like a clean slate you don't have to work around anything it's, we finally got some great access we can get around the whole thing i know you're right about that this is like uh some relief it is but even though we have access we still the way we have this marked out and the way we want to do this we're going to have to be strategic on how we do that because if we go putting this pond in first how are we going to get to anything you won't right so well we could we could with the patio area but to make it kind of the way we want to do it we're probably going to just work our way out maybe what we'll do is start carving the first drop or the last drop however you want to say it into the pond we're going to get our grade over there in the distance is our benchmark that we talked about and then the laser is all set up so we're really ready to go the only thing we got to do is get to work yeah let's create this thing So the, one of the best things about this project, and actually one of the things that my father was most excited about was pulling these rocks right off the property. We didn't have to buy rock because there's this old rock wall that juts right through the property. And we're able to pull them right here. It's, it's like right next to where the pond's gonna be. So the pond's a little further down the driveway. And then this is um, down here. So we're gonna have to take some trucks and come in, fill those trucks with rock and bring them down there and dump them. So it's nice because it's really close, but it's also going to be a little bit of a hassle, but it's all right. This is the start of day two. Alan, me, and Nick spent time getting this graded off here to our grade blue outline here, which you can kind of see. 
is going to be where the pond is. Nick up there is where it's going to be where the stream. And one of uh, up there is where our stream is going to be and our bio falls. And we're going to be putting the bay area in over on this side of the pond. So all that had to be graded off as well. All right, so we started digging this pond. And Kyle and Jack right now are cutting sides straight up and down and they're getting anything sharp in the bank. If there any rocks or roots or anything sharp in that bank, you want to protect that liner as much as possible. Started day three, we show up. This was starting to fill with water on Friday. We had an idea that we might have a water issue, so we came prepared. So today we're gonna have to install an underwater drain. After we do that, we're gonna pad the bottom of this pond out with sand. We do got um, some rocks and gravel and stuff in there. There's just so much to rake out. It'd be better if we pad it to protect that liner. But we are gonna bring an underliner drain out this way. We'll bring it to a culvert. We'll have it all pitched. We'll have perforated pipe and stone in there, and then we will have a sub pump. So when this thing is filling with water, they get a rainstorm, there's no pressure from underneath this pond when it's rocked. We've got a pipe installed, we've got it pitched at a 15 degree pitch, and we've got it ran into our culvert pipe where our sump pump is going to be housed. Our next step is going to be to cover this pipe with gravel. Nick is waiting with the gravel ready to go. This is the start of day five. We got some heavy rain last night. Like we've done the last couple days, we've had to pump the water out from underneath that liner. And because of the heavy rain, we got rock moved in there last night. Well, yesterday afternoon rather, uh, so we could rock. But today we got here and it was like super heavy rain last night. It's still raining now a little bit. So we do not want to make a disaster out of this early, out of this area. So this area here today, we're going to focus on working on this retaining wall so we're going to pump this water out we'll get our base in there we'll have rock pad underneath it to protect the liner and we'll be building this wall and incorporating lights in the wall today got going on right now we are starting to lay our base for the patio well the patio is going to be coming up to the retaining wall here and Jay's actually got to fit these to the rock how's that going Jay pretty good it's looking pretty good
Are you ready? Why are you saying that? <laughs> I love it. <laughs>